How's it going, Reef Keepers? So we've got uh, the lights all ramped up for the day. Um, I've got the Radeon XR15 set to acclimation mode, and they are very, very low power at this time. But of course, the Quanta Pro bars just go on and off. So um, they've switched on for their seven hours of you know intensity through the very center of the day. Um, and the tank is fully illuminated and we've got new acro new acros so we've got uh, a woolly green a miyagi torrent and a bali green slimer all from uh title gardens and i will say kind of disappointing i think ups really shook up the box pretty good because uh did have a little bit of leakage um but typically uh they're pretty good. Typically, Tidal Gardens is is real, real solid. Um, so, I mean, the frags certainly look healthy. I think they just got hit pretty hard on the way in. So, anyway, um, have had some interest generated in the way that I devised for mounting these things, um, these Quanta Pro bars. So, I'm going to get into more specifics about how I mounted them. We've got my step ladder out and I'll show you a few things. So first off, as you guys saw in the last video, you know that I utilized these right here, these Wix gear magnetic multifunction mounts uh, to get these uh, pieces of HMS rail uh, magnetically mounted to my RMS mounting system. So I don't really care what your mounting system is, or even if you have these HMS rails, maybe you just have extruded aluminum, or I'm sorry, aluminum extrusions. Um, these right here will work no matter what. The beauty of what comes in this package for I think like, I don't know, 14 or 15 bucks, is it comes with several different plates. So like there's a plate, for instance, this is part of the magnet right here. So, uh, it comes with 3M heavy duty adhesive, so it's ad adhered actually straight to this RMS bar. And then there's a little flat plate that is on the underside of the HMS rail that I also, with the 3M adhesive that comes with it, stuck to it. There's like a, a magnetic circle that's a plate, there's a square, and there's a thin rectangle. So I used, uh, I think the square, and that gave me some, no, I used the rectangle because it gave me some leeway to kind of move it around and find the magnetic point that I wanted. And I just mounted these right to the center, right here and right here of my RMS rail because I knew I might want to move this system back and forth, right? And it's been, it's great. They are so strong that like, I'm, I'm not going to bang on my lighting system right now, but basically I trust if I whapped my lighting system with my, you know, tongs or whatever, or even my elbow, I trust that the whole thing would not go crashing off. I mean, this is on there pretty darn good. So, um, now, now I like want to test it. <laughs> it's on there pretty darn good. Uh, and I mentioned for me, you can see this little plastic piece let me get my finger in here right here and it's just a little like plastic clip thing that i had laying around my garage i found two of them and i used it to bump up the height of this rail so that it's actually lifted in the front and slopes back and that's both to like so i could pull this whole thing more toward me and lift this to get a better angle on this bar to get exactly the angle i wanted and kind of lower down and get a better angle on the bar in the back. So what I'm saying is the magnets are so strong, they don't need to be flush. You can actually adjust like the angle of this rail and this rail and the magnetic force will keep it in place, which is kind of incredible. So I think with most of these rail systems, they come standard with these pieces right here uh, or something close to them. So those work just fine with the hms rail pieces so what i did for this hms rail if you look very closely here on the end i utilized a uh, m5 nut right there on the end and there's kind of two 
two insert, so like you can see right here how the, this is open. So there's like a little tiny uh, cutout and then there's like a larger cutout around it. If you look real close, you can see how that tiny cutout that is a channel through the middle is, is like how I forced it to bend a little bit. I know it's brutish, but basically I just hammered that M5 nut into that little channel and bent that little channel. But what it means is that nut's never coming out. I mean, unless I pry it with, you know, a lot of force, it's never coming out. And I did it on every single one of them. So if you take a standard M5 nut that comes with like an M5 screw kit, you can basically do this if you have this HMS rail. And I don't know, you might be able to get, I had this HMS rail laying around. It's 15 inches long, okay? And I think you can either buy a single arm HMS mount kit and get both 15 inch pieces. I think it comes with two 15 inch pieces, or you could just order a 15 inch piece and then another 15 inch piece and achieve this. But like I said, I think you could also just do this yourself with extruded or aluminum extrusions. I know a lot of people use that with a lot of success. So with, uh, with Radions, I found that these 15 inch pieces, um, are more than sufficient. I mean, they they gave me more than enough play over the edge of the Radions, um, and it seems to be working great. So, anyhow, uh, cords on the Quanta Pros, I just ran them under a zip tie and then down the side. Um, I'll do some cord cleanup on this later. But uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted to show people, you know, more of a more of an in-depth look as to how I mounted these things and how I achieved getting them stabilized and, you know, how I, how I utilize the magnets to give myself the ability to play with them and move them horizontal, horizontally if I needed to, and also change the um, elevation of either the front or the back of the mounts. So it's a pretty, all things considered, a pretty flexible setup um, using these magnets. I think more flexible than you know, bolting them into place or something like that. So anyway, um, hope you guys found that valuable. And uh, again, Quanta Pros, this is like, you know, <laughs> this is like Radeons on, I don't know, 3% strength. And then there's the tank lit, you know, 97% by just two Quanta Pro bars. And can't sing the praises of them enough. I'm I'm loving it and the corals are obviously happy. I mean, this is very early in the day and you can see, I mean, you know, you can see the LPS moving, but look, the acros are absolutely moving in the breeze with joy in their little hearts because, um, yeah, I mean, this lighting is, is phenomenal. So highly recommended. Anyway, if you guys have questions, you want specifics, um, you know, product specifics, whatever, hit me up in the comments. More than happy to help. You know, I'll, I'll always lend a hand. So, all right. If you are enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks guys.